Hi guys, um, so today I'm going to be tying a little um, yellow owl grunter variant. It's great on the lake. Um, so um, I'll show you how to do one of these. So in here is a wide gate um, full mil uh, dry fly hook and the thread that I've got on is 8mm light k hell so just catching it in just touch and turn in trim off the waist coming down the back of the uh the bend of the hook just making a taper and bringing it back up and just making a body obviously the light k hell thread is really light so i'm using a black nickel hook Probably doesn't really help, but I think this hook's really nice. So I'll just do it a couple of times just to get the colour on it. And for the rib, I use a Sharpie. Um, with being a dry, I find. Um, the less on the, on the actual body um, helps it float better so sharp will make the ridge the rib and I'm just gonna give this a wee quick work finish here to hold it next I'm using um, CDC so I'm just gonna bear me one sec I'm just gonna get a bundle of this ready I'm um, looking for maybe about seven or eight plumes. So you want a little bunch about that size now. This is what makes a fly float. So I pinch it here. I'm just going to bring this up. Pinch and lock it a couple of times. Now it doesn't really have to be that neat here because you won't see this. And then Trim. So it's just cut in. There's a couple of little strands here. I'm just going to take off. So I'm going to catch this in. And like I say, you don't have to worry about this because you won't see this. And then come up the back a couple of times. Back in the front. Now, I'm adding a bit of extra something in here. I've um, been playing about this pattern for a while. So I'm going to add a bit of white antron. Basically, I'm going to fold it in half. And then I'm going to catch it in. Just like that. This is going to be my little breather. Trim it. Just a little white, little tag. And then next, I'm using a, a dyed saddle here. So this is a grizzle saddle, um, dyed olive green. Now you're looking for, I use the, well, the bigger feathers, so I'm taking ones off the back. Now you'll see it's quite a big one, um, quite bushy. So from about here is no, I'm not using take all this off so you can peel it to here I'm just going to trim it just for quickness I'm going to trim them both sides and then you're left with this bit here this is the bit I'm going to catch this in on top of the head So, 
Touch and turn, locking this up to the eight. Shouldn't know what's stuck off. Catching it in, bringing your thread up here. Now, just to stop this slipping again, I'm going to give it another wet finish here, just at the back of the eye, to stop it slipping. Using the hackle, I work away from me, bringing this around. Using the saddle, nice bits. Now you want it quite bushy at the back, um, and as you come down the saddle, it's going to get a lot finer. So watch it, we'll give it a nice taper. Um, it's going to be a nice hackle. And then I'm going to come up the front, bringing the CDC forward, uh, bringing it back. So every time I turn, bringing it back again. Keep doing it. Bring a nice little hack up the front. And then just catching it in. Nicely, bringing everything back. Touch and turn on the back of the eye. And then we went finish. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm just going to do another one, just because I'm not going to put any varnish on this one, two, three. That is secure. Trim off your excess of the saddle. And then brushing it back, opening up your hackles. And then there you are, it's left with a nice little bushy little grana thanks for watching guys cheers